don't want to just visit you. I don't want to just pass by. I want to live in you. Mm. So that in me, the people may see the true triune God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Mm. Hello. That is his desire for every one of his creation. There's a preparation for it. He is holy. He wants our temple to be holy. Set aside. Set aside. Die to yourself and all of your desires. And there's not enough demons or devils in hell to keep him from moving in. And then when he comes into you, he then begins to show him you cut a higher. He has chosen to manifest himself yes. through this earthen vessel yes. that has been set aside Jesus. for his glory yes. and for my benefit. Mm. Lift your hands, don't breathe, breathe, come on. What an honor. I have just come off on a 27 day fast. I'm not saying that braggedly. We have it every year at church, but I done it specifically for my uh, trip here, which I'll be gone for about six weeks. Telling people about Jesus Christ. Uh, letting them have the opportunity to support the mission that God has called me on. 2004, in December, 3 o'clock in the morning, my first trip to Columbia, the Lord woke me up. I had never been out of the United States before in my life. And he spoke to me with a clearance and clarity this is what I would like for you to do with the rest of your life. I was pastoring at the church. I had pastored almost 34 years. My wife had just decided to go home to glory and leave me. <laughs> she said, you can get by by yourself now. I've, I've had them long this long. So after 51 years, my beloved wife went home at Easter time. Some people invited me down there. And I began to weep, began to cry. Where I was, I just, my wife had just gone, I was still pastoring. I was unfamiliar, even though I had a hunger for the mission field. Church had been one of the leading missionary giving churches in Michigan for years. We had birthed the church on that. I really was a missionary in the pastor's skin, is what I was. <laughs> and finally, uh, God uh, opened the door and I said, God, I'm an old man. 70 years old. So now if you put that 70 with that, you know about where I'm at as far as age. <laughs> and he spoke to me, Pastor, as clearly. You're not old. I have a new, good, a new season for under season for you. It's been a season to Africa, birth the church uh, in the mountains of Chile, and built three churches in the jungles of Bolivia, and uh, schools in Cota, which now is from 320. And we put 105 girls through safe house from 
off the streets into they have some are married now working so one has come back to safe house to work teachers in the school there that's, our Amen. that's your mission there it has it was nothing when it started all these years you have been contributors and i thank you for that god said all i'm asking you to do is obey me I wept because I had my children and they had just, Mama had just gone home and the church had just lost the first lady of 34 years. I had lost my friend, my soulmate. And I said, God, I'm available. Mm -hmm. And he said, that's all I wanted to hear. I have all of the other things you have. Amen. Amen. Amazing how he has provided for almost 15 years. I've had a heart attack at that time. The devil tried to stop me. I had a pacemaker. I had total atrial fib. I'm never, ever out of atrial fib. And so I should not even be able to do what I'm doing. But God. Amen. Hello. But God. Amen. It could have so I have some forms up here. Some of you know me. If you've been giving, you'll need to renew. If you want to uh, begin, I'll get more tonight, show some pictures tonight, but I, I want to get into my message and the theme. Uh, then take a, a form, fill it out, and turn it into the pastor or some in the finance committee. And all the instructions are there. Just follow the instructions. But thank you for your giving, but most of all, Thank you for your prayers. I could tell you the stories. I had them threatened face to face with death. Cutting my head off they wanted to. Another one sort of stabbed me through my uh, chest as I was preaching. And uh, warlocks came in and invaded my uh, meetings. But God, until God says it's done, it's not done. Amen. Amen. So I, I was praying as I was preparing for the, uh, the, the services here and for this time. And uh, the theme of this series of meetings is the God of your impossibility. We all have one, don't we? And we all have that there's something in our life that is just impossible. But he is the God of your probable. Yes. Amen. Hello, that's different than us. <laughs> He's the God of your probable. That means it's probable going to happen. I believe he could die. That which seems impossible is the God of your problem. Yes. Amen? Amen? So we're going to go every night. I'll be building on it. It'll be the theme. So I'll be talking about uh, one miracle after another. The impossible that God makes probable. Amen. <laughs> and when God makes it probable, it's manifested. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. We accept the probable by faith. Kutabaya. But when we do, that probable becomes manifest. I said, then the probable becomes manifested. It can be seen. We accept it in the spiritual. Like we do salvation. We accept it by faith. But then he manifests the miracle of salvation in the natural. <laughs> if I don't see any manifestation in the natural, I don't think you're saved. Amen? Amen. And that's the greatest miracle. We could have no greater miracle than salvation. Amen? I want to give you just a few scriptures. That I want you to, you to 
meditate upon and speak all this week. Remember, God is not obligated to you. His word is full of promises. They're full of promises. But his promises are conditional. Amen. Show me a promise of God that there isn't a condition beginning with your salvation. The condition was you had to acknowledge you were a sinner and believe that he was the son of God and that, amen? amen. Now you can believe and believe and believe the devil believes also, amen. but he's not saved. Right. Y'all with me? Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. Kurita bahasa, sata bahasa, But it's when we believe something, we sell out to that belief. When I truly believe something, I will shout out for that thing. So what we get from God, we've got to shout out and line up with the word. Not what someone else says or your opinion or what the government says or what your best friend says, but what thus saith the Lord. And when knows me, I'm a simple preacher. In fact, I really don't preach. I don't share. I've never preached in my life. You've got a great preacher here. He's, he's, he's the preacher. I don't I share the word. But I will share the word with you. Amen. People hear me preach it. I preach now while I just celebrate my 56th birthday. January 7th, 1963. Amen. I became a child of God. Not a, not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. Come on. Don't dump me in the same barrel with all those who call themselves Christians. Come on. Come on, brother. Amen. I believe a child of God yeah. will represent the fa 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 the DNA. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> His DNA. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> So you could be a Christian and have all kinds of DNA from all kinds of religion. The Buddha, Muhammad, and a few of those other kind of ding-dongs. <laughs> but I'm a child of God. Amen. Proud of it. Yes. And he calls them a child of God. Yes. Amen. So I, I tell people, and I've had people raise their eyebrows. No, I'm not a Christian. But I'm a child of God. In these meetings, we are going to see the impossible thing according to the word. But God takes the impossible and manifests the probable. Amen. Amen. Everyone, every night. I have five nights in them. Then for the fifth, for the fifth night, we're going to just get scripture and have an all-time blowout of all the miracles in the book of Luke. Amen. And we're going to have a blowout, amen? Yes. I have asked God and believed God for miracles. I was thinking, uh, my pastors, of our awesome revival we had in the little church just before the tornado. Remember that? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And we've had a two or three years. But God kept speaking, but I'm going to show myself as I've never shown you before. Mm. Doesn't God want to show himself yes. different? Yes. He's the same God, but many fasted. Yes, amen. It's like a diamond. Every time you turn that diamond, it's the same diamond. But you have a flash of a different color. Yep. And when we think we've because we've seen it all. He flashes Amen. another facet of who Ribakata Saka Rabahanda Kulabate Mekureva. You all with me? Mm -hmm. All looking like I got two heads. So God is not obligated to you. He's obligated to his word. 
in a twin eye, then my will to his will. Yes. Yes. To obey him. Jesus said, not my will. Come on. Right. He had to bend. His, his will was not to go to Calvary. Right. That's right. Hello? Yes. He prayed at least three times. If there's any other way. Yeah. Even though he knew what the way was. Anyone hear me? Yeah. But he had to, and we don't like to bend our will. We're selfish. Self sufficient. No one. I can make it. I don't need anybody. You don't know anybody that way? Well, tell me if I have no Bruce Banner, then I have to kind of bring under submission. Come on. Amen. He's there. I bring. And I have to bend my will, but when I bend my will in obedience, people hear me. God does not need your help. Come on. That's right. He Amen. only needs your obedience. Yes. And when you obey him, you give him full reign. Hudavakaya. Yes. You give him full reign to manifest himself. So. Stand up. He's preparing us. Church. And Malachi, the Lord, the word says, for I am the Lord. I do not change. Yes. What part of that don't you know? Come on. I'm God. There's no variance in me. I am the same. We are the ones that have changed. Hebrews 13, 8, 9 said, Jesus Christ is the same. The same. Yesterday, today, and forever, and ever, and ever, and ever. What part of that don't you understand? Amen? That forever is eternity. Hallelujah. For us to receive from the Lord, there's a thing that we must do. Must do. Jesus said to him, if you can believe. Amen. Come on. And if he didn't put it there, it doesn't mean that we couldn't, we can. Through discipline and obedience. All things are possible to him that believe. Amen. The key word here is believe. That's right. Do you really believe these next five services that that impossible situation will become the manifested probable? Probable. Amen. Amen. Confirmed by people. Amen. Amen. I want us to take for just a few minutes to Ezekiel. Ooh, I feel a rustling. I feel a rustling here in the spirit. And you know me, I take one verse at a time probably and just kind of go along. And the pastor knows who I am. Some of you know me, some of you don't. That's all right. But your, your pastor uh, at least lets me come along and and, and try to stir something up. <laughs> but you know, Brother Banner, I am a word person. Amen. Because the word is never changed. Amen. I want us to I want to speak to you today out of Ezekiel. This God of your impossible. Now there are some things here. 
that he had to do. Even though God said, I'm going to do it. But this is what you have to do. Amen. Are you getting ready? The first verse in Ezekiel says, The hand of the Lord was upon me. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been quiet with God and you've allowed Him in the Spirit to lift you up from where you're at? Yes, He will. You can have an out-of-body experience with God. Amen? Amen. Yes. He said, the hand of the Lord came upon me. And what he done? He moved me. Amen. Yes. <laughs> when God's hand comes on you, he's going to move you. He comes up. There's a movement of the Spirit when the hand of God comes upon you. He doesn't just come on to bless you. He comes on upon you to move you. The church needs the hand of God to come upon them, to move them. Yes, yes. Amen. And he brought. He didn't shove. He didn't push. Amen. Amen. The Spirit leads us. So he brought Ezekiel to another place in the spirit. I'm going to ask you again, how long has it been since you've gotten quiet before God and allowed his spirit to pick you up and transfer on <laughs> and transform you to some other place. Now, it quite often, hear me, will not be a place that you would choose or you would enjoy. Y'all not with me? Y'all not with me? Oh, I want the Spirit just to bless me, bless me, and oh, till I just can't stand. That's wonderful. Come on. But that isn't why God blesses you. He blesses you so that you begin to see things as He sees. When you get in the Spirit, you begin to see things as God. See, said, hallelujah, with spiritual eyes, you begin to see that's when nothing becomes impossible. Every impossible situation in your life becomes a probability, hallelujah, when you begin to see it in the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I feel good. Y'all know? Shame on you. <laughs> you might just all get ready and get used to me. <laughs> I may be old in the body, but I'm still young in the spirit. Amen. It was Amen. renewed last night. <laughs> My inner man is renewed daily. Come on. And what he done, he set me up on the mountaintop where the sun was shining. Everything was wonderful, and I smelled the smell of lilies and roses. No. No. <laughs> that isn't the case many times. No. God gave you the Holy Spirit for dunamis, yes. for dynamite to blow up. Yes. Amen. Amen. It is not some little tinker toy that we play with and speak in tongues once in a while. It's a dunamis. Yes. You shall receive dunamis. Dynamite. Amen. To tear up and do things. Yes. Yes. Because of me in you. <laughs> I like this. Y'all with me? I'll hurry up. I, I smell the food. 
but there's food here you know not of. Amen? So what he done? He lifted me up. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. He had to lift him up, otherwise he would have dragged him. The Holy Ghost doesn't drag you any place. Hallelujah. He's a gentleman. He picked. He says, I've got something to show you. And I've chosen you to be my mouthpiece. If you'll be obedient. And I'll show you things that you have not known of or seen. That's what God wants to do in the spirit. He wants to show you things that you will not see or understand in the natural. Amen. Come here, dear. I want to pray for you. Are you putting the sick in? Huh? He picked me up and he carried me. So you don't have to do anything but be obedient. Amen. Damn. If you fight him or kick him, he'll leave you alone. But if you yield yourself to him in the spirit, Amen. He will carry you. And what he got in the spirit. And he set me right down in the midst of a valley. Now the valley just wasn't just a valley. But it was full of bones. Next verse. Next verse. And he calls me. <laughs> he said, Boy, I want you to see this as I see them. I want you to see the impossible thing that is here. See, God wants to show us in this, because in the natural, we make all kinds of excuses why it cannot be the way that God wants them to be, or the way God can make that impossible power. Come on. I feel this, Christine. God, can you imagine by Wednesday night? Ooh, we <laughs> Glory to God. I wouldn't want to miss the night. I'm not going to do it. Pine with that, my friend. <laughs> and he said, uh, come on. Ezekiel, look at them. Mm. Cause me to pass. And sit up on a little place. Oh, just few if it's like us, we want to view situations, mm. especially if they aren't good. If they're what we don't like, we like to view them from afar off. But God says, I want you to draw near. So you can see them as I see them. Caused me. And there were many in the valley. And they had been there a long, long time. Maybe your impossibility has been there a long, long time begin to look at it in the spirit as God's. Maybe it's a lost loved one. It's God's will that none would be lost. Come on. Amen. And see, God sees Amen. them as salvation already Amen. paid for. Every one of his creation, their salvation. Now I know we must accept it. But 
once we begin to see it in the eyes of God, we will begin to look at it differently Amen. and speak it differently. Amen. Yes. Next verse, please. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Not talking to me. <laughs> These bones. Mm. See, it's really a picture of Israel. You need to go back to that. Yes, it is. Israel was in a terrible, terrible. But I believe it can just be uh, symbolized with the church today. Amen. 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 Very symbolic of the church. And the same thing that happened there can happen to the church today. Amen. But we we'll have to do what the word says. And I answered, Oh Lord God, <laughs> you know. Oh, amen. Well, yes. Oh God, I, I, I think so. Oh, maybe? No, no, no. Very emphatically, he said, Oh God, mm. you know. Amen. That's what he says. Look at this thing. And you may think it is impossible, but I want you to know that I am the God yes. of the problem. Next verse. Then again he said unto me. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. He's going to ask us to do things that are absolutely silly. Mm. And to the normal person, even in the church, Come on. that's not in the spirit. You're not with me. Come on. I said he's going to ask us to do silly things. Yeah. Say silly things. Yeah. Come on. That even people in the church Come on. will think we've tipped over. Yeah. <laughs> but if God said it, it is. That's it. Amen. How silly it seems to you, Ethan. Mm. All he wants you to do is obey him. Come on. That's all he wants. Don't try to figure that whole thing out. Because you can only figure it out in your natural mind. This is the simplicity of the gospel. Yes. Prophesy. Speak the word. Speak the word. Not what someone else said. Or their opinion. But thus saith the Lord. Amen. Oh, you dry bones. Yes. I'm sure that if he hadn't been in the spirit, he would have been struggling and fighting and kicking. That's why the word says, don't only live in the spirit, but yes. walk in the spirit. And you will not give in to the things of the flesh, which one of the biggest things when it comes to God is the spirit of doubt. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that keeps many of us from the promises of God is doubting. Really goes along with fear. Fear and doubting. You doubt because you fear, you fear because you doubt. Amen? Hear the word of the Lord. I'll hurry up. Yeah, you all looking at me like, come on. Come on, when are we getting to the punchline? These are all the punchlines. That's right. That's right. Come on. What more do you want? Huh? You've been looking for a little one, two, three? Well, that's right. I have nothing against those that do. But God told me a long time ago, this is the way that I have called you to preach. I had to battle with it, Brother Larry. I've had people talk to me about that now. You know you'd be much more influential if you just get those two or three little points there. 
and you just get those shut down. That's all right. If God has called them, that's fine. But I'm sorry I wrestled with you. He said, no. You take my word as I read. Wrote it. That's it. And I'll give you the understanding. He does. He God, Pastor keeps revealing to me yes. his word like he's never revealed to me. After all these years, Pastor God, I'm oh God. Next, please. Thus saith the Lord God. <laughs> I love that. Don't be afraid to repeat what God says. That's right. Don't be afraid to repeat what God says. Now, if it's what someone else said, be careful. But don't be afraid when it's God that says it. Say it. Hallelujah. Say, speak to these dry, dry bones. I will. You? Well, I just repeated it. God, you know. Now you want me to speak to them so I can be part of the manifestation of the probable? Who did my God? <laughs> he has chosen us to manifest in this earthen vessel his glory. The God of the impossible wants you to become part of the probable. Yes. He didn't need his heal. He could have just spoke. He has chosen us. Amen. I will cause breath to enter into you. He was talking to the bones. Now see how silly? But if God says it, it is. just say it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> if God says it, just say it. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. And I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And you shall be healed. And you shall be set free. And you shall have your needs met. And you, because that's what God says. Yes. I know this is not a barn burner at this point. I understand that. God's taking pity on my own age. He knows that. Next, please. Not only will I breathe breath into them. See those bones? I'll start from the inside out. Yeah. Oh, there's a kito kata. Ha, 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 ha. So often we... There's a nugget there. So often we want to manifest it out. But no, we'll start on the inside. That's the way salvation comes. That's the way the glory he says no he didn't lay skin on first that was the final the sinews is the first layer then he said uh, uh, I'll bring flesh upon you and then, and then I'm going to cover you with skin but it's not breathing yet it's like Adam. Poured them all there. Pulled out his eyes. Nostrils. Put a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> but until God bent down and breathed breath into his nostrils. Did he become a living soul? Amen. And that's what he done to you. You were dead in your trespasses. And God passed by. And he reached out and he, he quickened you. 
loosened you from your graveyard of sin and made you a food of a call, made you an example of what he created you for in his likeness. And he put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am God. That's what God wants. He wants his word to see and know, but he has chosen us so that we may allow his manifestation of that which is impossible to become the manifestation of the probable. You all with me? Next, please. So I prophesied. Come on. Yes. So he obeyed. Yes. Uh-huh. Bones still thing. Still dry. A lot of them. There was a noise. And there was a shaking. Now I want to stop here for a minute. When God begins to do a great thing. You need to be careful because the enemy is going to cause a shaking and a lot of noise to make you disbelieve. Come on. Come on. Sure, there was a noise and a shaking. And anytime God is doing a great thing, you can rest in church. The enemy's going to do a lot of shaking and he's going to make a lot of noise all the time. God is God. And he's doing what he said he would do. He was putting sinews upon them, putting muscle upon them, putting skin upon them. About all the time. Don't get distracted by the noise and the shaking and the rat. Hallelujah. If you've spoken God's word, it shall be as he said it. And then the bones began all over this bed. Because when God does anything, he does it right. So you didn't see an ankle bone on the shoulder. You didn't see the knee bone on the nose. He brought them together perfectly, bone to his bone. Amen. They probably had been scattered by the wolves and the birds. They probably been just picked up because they were they were dry. They're picked clean. So when they do, you know those animals just scatter them all over. It makes no difference how bad or how scattered that your situation. It makes no difference. How scattered or how bad the situation is that's impossible? It's God. Amen. By His word. As you speak it. And the rabbit comes. And the noise comes. You keep on believing God. Speaking His word. Hallelujah. He is God. In the noise. Next verse. Please. When I beheld low, wow, woo, there they are. Wow, look at the bicep there. Look at the muscles. They said also that the sinews and the flesh, he covered all that muscle with the flesh, see? The sinew is the, is the muscle. Then he says, I saw the flesh, and then, lo and behold, there comes the skin mm. and covered them totally. He started on the inside out. Yes. Amen. 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 I'll tell you, this is a good word if you like it. It is a good word. Amen. How many have been right where we've been reading today? How many? How many are you there now? I'm going to tell you, God has given you instructions what to do to make your impossible yeah. manifested to be probable. Yes, yes. Amen. But there still was no breath in the bones. Next. 
please. Then he said to me, prophesy to the wind. The wind is the Holy Spirit. No one knows where the wind blows, how it blows, where the Spirit comes from. He says, Son of man, say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds of breath and breathe upon these flame that they may live. Let me tell you. Be careful when you begin to tell God how it has to be done. Even Christians think that you're going to tell God how, no, no, that's why he said the four winds. Right. He said, every direction. You have no idea where it's coming, but it's going to be done by my spirit. Just tell the spirit, do it any way you want to. Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, breath and breathe. Upon this slave that they may live next place. I'm almost finished. So I prophesied. Mm -hmm. His faith, I'm sure this time, he had a little more <laughs> in it. And the first time, I said, prophesy to these, but then he saw the miracle happen on the one, then he saw the next. See, the miracles build faith. That's why we need to share our miracle of being born again. Amen. Hello. We need to be sharing our miracle. Yes. I am born again. Amen. Because that builds faith. So he said, I prophesy as he commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived. And they stood up on their feet. And they became an exceeding great army. Hallelujah. He doesn't perform the impossible to make it the probable just for you to have fun and enjoy life. He does the improbable. He does the impossible so that you may become an army for the Lord. Full armor with spiritual weapons but yet living and moving in the spirit of the almighty God with dunamis to destroy every stronghold of the enemy. Stand with me. Wow. Did I have one more there? Was that the end? I think it was. Yeah, that was the last of that, yes. I want to challenge you this morning. Come back tonight. Amen. 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 But between this morning and tonight, begin to speak those scriptures, then begin to speak to your impossible. Speak what? The word. Yeah. Yeah. word. Just speak the word. Amen. I don't know what. Speak the word. Yeah. That's what prophecy is. You speak the word. Yeah. And we're going to build on this. Tonight we're going to see another impossible that become the manifested probable. Amen? Yeah. I challenge you to come back tonight. I'll, 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 I'm going to I'll, I'll give, I'll give an honor. I'm not going to give an honor call this morning. Brother Beck, no. Uh, I want this to sink in. I want you to begin to act upon it. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You're going to build upon it every day. And then Wednesday night, oh, there'll be an altar call probably before that. But then Wednesday night as we begin to read, impossible after impossible after impossible yeah. that became possible. People say, oh, that was Jesus. What about Paul and all his impossible things that he'd done in the spirit? How about Peter? They said they said they had so much faith in him that even the shadow as he passed by, they would drag their 
lay out so just that their shadow Oh, God, do you believe in God? Yeah, I do. Oh, God, come on. When we sell out, yes. there must be a sell out. Yes. There must be a sell out to total obedience. Yes. Pastor, I can't do that. Then stop saying I can do all things through Christ. Right. Just, just that one, just don't, don't quote that again. Don't quote that again. Because you're making him a liar. Yes. Or you're believing it's a lie. Come on. Amen. Amen. But I can. Yes. Yes. Through Christ. That's right. Do all things that he has called me to do. Yes. He's called me to be a messenger, a mouthpiece, a vehicle, vocal, so that the impossible might be manifested and made whole. whole. Amen. And be the probable. Father. I commend this word. I commend this service into your keeping. I pray, God, that we who are here will take time to meditate upon your word today yes. and then begin to obey it. Yes. Begin to speak the word. Whatever that impossible thing is, begin now to speak it. Yes. Because remember, it begins on the inside and manifest itself on the outside. Yes. If you don't see it right now, keep on speaking it. Yes. Amen? Amen? If you don't see it instantaneously, keep on speaking. If it's a word of God, keep on speaking. Yes. Yes. Because yes. as it was here, start on the inside. Yes. Before it was man, but I believe that by the end of these services, you're going to see your impossible manifested the probable. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, thank you for this morning. Jesus. I sense your presence and your word. Yes. I'm grateful for and thankful for. But God, if we are only hearers of the word, and if we aren't doers of it, mm. then we really aren't faithful. We aren't pleasing you for God. We please you by faith in your word through obedience and speaking your word and be unashamed Jesus. how silly it may look to the people around us but be unashamed to speak your word thus save them. to the impossible so that you may find me the vessel to have it become manifested yes. in Jesus name Amen Amen Amen, Amen. Amen.